Hey, well, good evening, everybody. I'm live here from Mackinac Island, Michigan, enjoying the fall weather. And it's so nice to see everybody. I'm looking on the screen here, seeing people all over. This is our free webinar tonight. It's um, crystals for healing purposes for the fall and the winter. Hi, Margaret from Zilwaukee. Look at everybody coming up. Hi, Meredith from Indiana. Wow, lots of wonderful people. This show is going to be so much fun. Kick back, relax. If you want to go grab a coffee or a, a soda or a, or a little drink, um, we're going to have probably about an hour of crystal talk. There's a lot of things happening astrologically this fall and into next year that you need to be aware of. We've talked about some of it on my Facebook shows, on the radio, in my newsletters, but um, I want to offer also some ideas of what crystals and gemstones that you should be wearing that will help you navigate the high times, the low times, and those in-between times. So we're going to talk about five specific um, astrological aspects that are happening and then talk about the crystals that are good for those. If we have time at the end, we'll open it up for questions. But I'd like to introduce, and I'm so happy he's with us tonight, um, the great Oz, our webmaster, Mr. Greg Bass, all the way from Lafayette. Hi, Greg. Hey, Maria. How are you? Fantastic. I just flew in from New Orleans last night. Listen, I had, you know, shorts and a t-shirt on. It was like 80 degrees. We got the heat on here tonight up in Man. again. <laughs> I tell you, when I was working on your uh, email account earlier, I logged into your AOL and it said, your temperature is 56 degrees. And I really got jealous at that point. I was just like, wow, that's awesome. That was, the must high. Have, that was the high. Oh, oh man. Wow. How about that? I, uh, we, we're definitely dealing with something. Yeah. I think we got in the, the high was 92 today. And I think the low oh, is 92. Uh, wow. It's still too. summer. It's still summer in Louisiana. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But, uh, no, uh, we, we decided to move back home. We're in the middle of a kitchen renovation because we had some damage that we had to take care of. And, uh, we were living at the in-laws and it just wasn't working out, especially with my like night shift schedule and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, uh, we moved back home recently and we've been getting settled in, uh, I got a camper that is basically our kitchen right now. So, oh, yeah. hey, whatever works, whatever That's works. Right. <laughs> but yes, thanks for um, having me tonight. We're going to be covering a bunch. Um, obviously, Maria is going to be talking about that. But for you to participate is easier than ever, right? Because this is a free event. It's going to be coming off of Facebook and our YouTube, whichever you have access to. And if you go ahead and comment on those on the video, we will also see it here. I'll be able to share it on the screen and any pictures that are out there. Maria will be able to see. To access the replay, it's just as simple as going back to Facebook or YouTube, and um, you can even download it from those items as well. But this will be included in the overall, at the end of this series, we will be sending one final email out with all the links to the videos and events that we have had. So uh, stand by, that's going to be coming as well for those that have paid, of course. Uh, if you want to still get the other uh, videos included in this series, you are able to buy them individually online or you can still upgrade to that full package and get all of them sent to you um, once we conclude after next week's final or the final event, really. So outside of that, I'll give it back to Maria and let her cover all the fantastic things she has to cover. All right. Thank you. And Greg, while I've got you your interest, did you send this in the newsletter to everybody or in the little letter that you sent out? Was yes. It, so they, they got that in the link. It is in the link. All you have to do okay. is click on uh, click on the bracelet, gem, the gym bracelet cell, and it'll go to the item. And then all those are listed in that item in the store. OK, good, because I I took a lot of time doing these descriptions. It took me hours to write out what they're all good for. So I just right. want to make yeah. sure well, happens. let me show them how to access it just to yeah. be sure that we don't have a problem. I'm going to show them how to access that. So once you got a little, you've got a free little guide, a gemstone guide, everybody that came with your letter uh, invite. And it's a link that you click on. It'll give you uh, all, tons of gemstones with what they're um, good for metaphysically. All right. So this is Maria's online store. If you go to the fall webinar series, product spotlight, it's all the items that we've been talking about during the fall uh, webinar series. But uh, you also can find other items that we are covering. So I know it's on the second page, so I'm going to go there. And you can see right here the gemstone bracelet cell. What Maria is talking about is this copy um, telling you basically everything that it's about, but all the different stones and what they are good for. And these are also the stones that we have bracelets available for. So uh, check it out there. If you want to read along, Maria will be talking about it as well. But it's just that simple. 
to access it. Again, go to the online store, click into the, uh, the fall webinar series, which is what this store is. And honestly, you can also search if you want to gemstone cell right here in search products. Yeah, because you may want to print that off or save it because that'll be a guide to, gosh, dozens of gemstones and their meanings. And it's an easier guide just to look up and see because a lot of these stones, a lot of you have bought from me over the years. I had a lady say she was going to tune in tonight. Uh, hey, Don, um, because of the fact that she had so many bracelets, she couldn't remember what they were good for. So if you're one of the one of my clients that has those issues, you have too many bracelets, you don't know what they're good for. This is this is definitely the, the right channel. All right. So tonight we're going to have um, talk about the crystals that are needed to help you navigate this fall and into next year. And a lot of the astrological shifts, we have a tremendous amount of cosmic forces, especially in October, um, all the way through till about March of next year. So we're going to probably cover about the next six months. But as you know, crystals have energy, just like plants have medicinal purposes and they can help heal. They can uplift. They can treat burns. They can they can um, help uh, your digestive system, et cetera, et cetera. We also have crystals that have properties because God made them. God made all of nature and everything in, in it is, has a purpose. So crystals also have healing properties, healing energies, and they can also attract things, attract good luck, attract positive vibes, ward off negativity, even ward off evil. So um, we're going to talk about the shifts, I think, first, but I would like you really to think about what's in your jewelry box already. What do you have in your jewelry box that you can pull out? What's in your arsenal of crystals that you can pull out and use? A lot of times we'll throw our, our bracelets or our stones on top of our dresser and forget about them. But you need to dust them off, clear them, cleanse them, and, and, and start pulling them out for the fall. You're going to need some of these things. So we have a lot of influences that we're all going to be affected by. No matter what zodiac sign you are, we all have uh, five very, very strong astrological aspects that will affect everybody from an Aries all the way through all the 12 signs as we end up at Pisces. One of the things that I think is very important is a very tense square. And this is called the Saturn square Uranus or Uranus energy. And it's happening all of October. Well, pretty much up until the 26th. So it, it, it happened the last couple days. You may have felt a little bit more tenseness. And I want you to think back to last December, Christmas, the last December, you know, last December. I want you to think back to February, to June. Think about what was going on then. What in your life created tension back then? Because that's coming up again in October and it's coming up again in January and it will peak on January 23rd. Now, Saturn is a planet that creates challenges and structure and uh, tests. Saturn is our greatest teacher in the Zodiac. And Saturn doles out these tests. If you fail a test, Saturn's going to probably slap you around a little bit. OK, <laughs> he can be he can be kind of testy. You won't be able to move forward in life or forward with a project or a plan or an area of your life until you pass that test that Saturn doles out. So once you pass the test, you'll be able to release any tension. It'll all be fine. But if you're still experiencing tension in the month of October and in January again, when it peaks, it's got to be something that's tied to either June, February, or almost a year ago, December of 2021. So you don't have to think too hard, but just know this is this, is this planet that we're relating or this aspect that we're in relation to right now. And Uranus is a planet of change. It wants to break free. So Saturn wants to restrict. Uranus wants to break free. So this is maybe not your example, but let's say you're in a situation where you hate your job and you want to leave so badly. Uranus is pushing you to find another job, to, to look for something else. But Saturn is restricting you. It's holding you back because you didn't learn the lesson at this specific job, which could be self-worth. It could be patience. It could be getting along with people. It could be authority figures. It could be boundaries. Whatever lesson you need to learn, Saturn's going to create that, that tension for you to learn it. And then once you, you, you get it right, then you can make that change with Uranus. 
but there's a lot of tension for a lot of people right now. Can be big things, can be small things, could be relationships, could be home, could be money. It's all individual to you and to your chart. So um, just know that this is going to be a time frame that you're meant to change. But you have to finish the past. You have to learn the lesson first. So rather than saying, oh, my God, why is this happening to me? Say, why is this happening for me? Because there's a reason. There's a reason. OK, um, so what is the best stone to wear? If you have it in your jewelry box, if you have it in your crystal arsenal, pull out your black labradorite, not the green, not the blue. You need the black labradorite. The black labradorite is going to be prevent you from being influenced in the month of October, November, December, and it peaks on January 23rd, influenced by negative energy. Wearing that stone will ease your um, like anxiety. It'll ease some worries. And it's also a very good stone if you suffer from a loss of self-confidence. If you feel like, oh, I'm never going to be able to change. I don't know if I can do this. Black Labradorite. OK, that's the stone that you'll want to pull out of your jewelry box. If you don't have it, we have it online. Um, but I would hold off on purchasing just yet because I have a, um, a special that I want to tell you about. So hold off on purchasing that if you if you if you were thinking about it. All right. So that's one of the major shifts that we have. And I'm going to tell you what, once you learn that lesson, you will never have to deal with that tension again unless you create a new problem. So there's something in your life that's meant to change. And I do know that a lot of people are changing their jobs, getting fired, uh, you know, opting out, moving, whatever, companies closing, looking for new jobs. A lot of people are, the, the tension is with their work. I'm not saying in all incidents, but the, a lot of tension is with their work. Um, they're changing shifts. They're changing companies. They're changing um, departments or they're completely changing to a whole new industry. Okay. All right. The second one that we have, we have a big spiritual shift right now. It's been going on since June 28th. You're probably feeling it and it's going to lift on December 3rd. So for the next 60 days, about two months, Neptune retrograde is happening and Neptune retrograde is going to reveal the truth. How many of you have had um, people lie to you, people deceive you, um, people appear to be something that they're not and you found out already? Or maybe there was a secret that you found out, right? Um, if you haven't, but you feel like somebody's hiding something, it might come out within the next 60 days before December 3rd. But here's the thing. With Neptune retrograde, you get a chance to, um, to accept the truth, um, even, if it's, even if it's hard. It's better to know the truth. The truth will set you free, right? So you can move forward. Sometimes you don't even want to hear it. Some people are in denial, but something's going to slap you in the face if it already hasn't. How many people out there have uh, found, have been deceived or lied to and have found out that maybe somebody's hidden something? That's Neptune retrograde. So the reason Neptune also, um, another reason Neptune helps us when it's retrograde besides uncovering the truth um, is it's a reality check. You're able to see situations for what they truly are in your life. It reveals the truth in your life. And Neptune is also a very psychic sign or um, planet, excuse me. Very, And it's in the sign of Pisces, which is a psychic sign. So all of us are going to have more dream activity. We're going to we're going to have more signs and symbols from the universe. We already have. But in the next couple months, that will show us maybe what we're supposed to be doing. And with all these retrograde planets we've been having this fall, you're getting an opportunity for a lot of spiritual growth. Your psychic antennas should be turned up and tuned in. Um, you may feel more intuitive or your dreams may be uh, much more vivid, or you may be receiving a lot more signs and symbols from the universe. So a good stone to use for this one is going to be bronzite. And bronzite, if you have that in your jewelry box, is a beautiful brown stone that kind of glistens. Um, and it almost looks like the Coca-Cola stone. It's not the Coca-Cola stone. I, I'm getting some Coke stone in. And we're going to have that probably in Minnesota, October 15th and 16th for our big two-day psychic fair at the Marriott Minneapolis Airport Hotel. 
I don't have a lot of pieces of the Coca-Cola stone, but I'm hoping Debbie will bring that. My assistant Debbie will bring that. And whatever's left over, we're going to bring to Michigan for the four-day psychic fair, October 20th through the 23rd at the Sheridan Four Points. But bronzite looks a lot like the Coca-Cola stone, but it has different, whole different energy. So bronzite is good uh, to accept the truth and the changes that come with it. So not only, okay, I get it. I accept it. But you're also accepting the changes that come with the truth for better or worse. But the end result, I believe, is always going to be positive. Now, bronzite also helps with past life recall. Um, and Pisces, uh, this is, Neptune is in Pisces. Pisces rules the 12th house of an astrology chart. So this is good for everybody. It's not just, this not what I'm telling you is not just for Pisces, but Neptune happens to be in the sign of Pisces. It's in the 12th house of a chart. Just trust me on this one. If you don't know astrology, the 12th house represents past lives, Akashic records, where you've come from, things that are hidden. This is the perfect time to do past life recall. Open up your Akashic records. We're going to have Amanda reading Akashic records in Saginaw at the, um, the Halloween Psychic Fair and Convention at the Sheridan Four Points. So if you wanted to get your Akashic records read, that's a really good, she's a really good reader for that. But anyway, if you are going through some changes, if you do want to see the truth, if you do want to have more spiritual growth and raise your vibration, bronzite is going to be the stone for you. Um, Saturn is also shifting signs. Listen, we need to have a, a big talk about Saturn because this is a big deal. Saturn transits, the big ones happen about every 29 and a half years. They're big. Think back to what you were doing between age 28 and 30 and between age 58 and 60. And if you're if you're a little older, between age 88 and 90, those are what we call Saturn returns. And Saturn comes back to its natal position where it was when you were born. Every seven to 15 years, we also have Saturn transits, Saturn squares, oppositions, etc. But Saturn, remember what I said, is our greatest teacher. And it doles out challenges and problems to make us stronger. When the cycle is over, Saturn rewards us. So when we look at the last two and two, almost two and a half years, Aquarius people have had a Saturn transit. Leos, Taurus, and Scorpio have had some troubles and confusion and challenges for the last two years. This is going to lift for these signs on March 7th of 2023, somewhere around there. Then the signs that are going to have more challenges are Pisces, Virgo, Gemini and Sagittarius because Saturn will go into the sign of Pisces and oppose or square those other signs. So Saturn is going to affect all of us, no matter what sign we are, but those are the signs that are going to get hit the hardest. So, you know, if you're one of those first four signs, I mentioned Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, you've been going through it. You got about another six months. If you're a Pisces, a Sag, a Virgo, um, or a Gemini, you want to prepare for Saturn to come Clean your house now. Get rid of any problems now so it's not so hard. Learn those lessons now. So harder aspects come when Saturn creates challenges for us. And I want to talk about how it's going to, what the meaning is for Saturn for all of us, no matter what sign you are. Because like I'm a cancer, so it's not really going to affect me in a negative way. But it, for, for all of us in some way, there are certain lessons that we have to learn. So the people that should be wearing um, the gemstone lapis are the people that are going through the heaviest Saturn transits. Lapis is a stone and a most everybody that's probably watching me has lapis in their jewelry box. If you don't, we have some bracelets, but, um, and some pendants. We're going to bring those to the shows too. We have them online, but lapis blue lapis, uh, is a beautiful stone and it, it won't take away the lessons because karmically you're supposed to learn the lessons but it'll help diffuse the heavy hand of Saturn. So you'll still have to learn the lessons, but it will help you with the tension, the anxiety. So you should be wearing lapis if you're one of those first four signs between now and March 7th. After March 7th, again, the Pisces, the Virgo, the Gemini, or the Sag and Gemini will be needing to wear lapis from March 7th of 2023 to February 13th of 2026. That's right, three years. Um, people born between 1994 and 1995 will be headed in for their first Saturn return. That's going to be a big time. People that are going to be 58 to 60 next year 
will be, will be in their Saturn, will be going into their Saturn return. Okay. People just starting, I should say, just starting their 58th year. So here's what we all need to do. No matter what sign we are, we need to work to get rid of guilt, whatever regret and guilt that you're carrying, it's going to bubble up and you got to deal with it. Guilt from the past, regret from the past. You can't change some of this stuff. You have to do the right thing. We all should do the right thing anyhow, but karmically, Pisces is also a sign of karma. You do something wrong, it's going to come right back to you. You do something right, it'll come back to you. So you have to take responsibility for your life these next two years, three years starting in March. And also, you can't wait for anybody to step up and save you because it ain't going to happen. During these years, you have to save yourself. Try not to avoid things. Take them head on. Because if you do, if you do avoid the lessons and issues, I can pretty much guarantee you there's going to be more issues. You're going to need boundaries. And the faster you can set boundaries up with people now, the less problems you're going to have with people when Saturn goes into Pisces in March. So the idea um, um, that I would like you to focus on is to be more independent in the coming years than rather dependent on someone. Whoever you're really dependent on is where you're too dependent on um, or codependent on. That's the situation, the person, the company that you're going to have the problems with over those three years. Because Saturn doesn't want you to be codependent. It wants you to be independent. Okay, hopefully I, I'm talking in layman's terms. So if you push in that direction, if you if you're on the right path and you're pushing to become independent, you're you're working through, you're not avoiding anything. There's going to be people that Saturn's going to send in to help you. They're likely Capricorn people born in late uh, late December or January. We're going to meet a lot of Capricorns who are going to help us, or they're going to be older people, older people. Um, that are going to support you, but it's only if you're working to do the right thing. So look for a Capricorn or older people for support. If you're really trying, if you're not trying, they're not going to show up. The universe isn't going to, going to send them, but the time was Saturn, this new time coming up March 7th, all the way to uh, February of 26 has a lot to do with the overall success of your entire life. What you do the next three years sets the stage for the next 30 years of your life. Okay. So again, um, oh, and also I want to say ditch the guilt and get out of toxic situations, toxic relationships and situations, work, et cetera, family. But I would definitely say if you feel, even if you're not Pisces, Gemini, Sag, or um, Virgo, if you feel that you need to wear lapis and you're going through some of these things now, or you could see yourself, or you, maybe you have some of these planets in your chart, even if it's not your sun sign, wear your lapis. Now, here's the good news I got for you. First thing I'm going to talk about is Jupiter, planet of good luck and abundance. Jupiter is happy and blessings. It's kind of like the Santa Claus, the Zodiac. And it's going to be changing signs right around Christmas. So Jupiter will be our Santa Claus this year. Uh, and then it's going to um, be changing again. It's going to change to some, another Zodiac sign in May. So between um, around the third week of December, right before Christmas, and until I think May 16th, into the middle of the, to the springtime, Jupiter is going to shift into the sign of Aries. So for all of us, no matter what sign we are, we're going to have a new beginning of some sort that's going to be exciting. Could be a little one, could be a big one. Uh, but Aries people will be the luckiest. They're going to they're gonna stand to gain the most. The Leos and the Sages will also have some good luck because of Jupiter and Aries. So it may take the edge off with Saturn and Pisces for the Sages. Um, but no matter what sign you are, there's a shift in your luck and you'll be headed in a new direction in some area of your life. Okay? So I, if there's something that you're wishing to enhance in your life, then you should wear the gemstone that attracts good luck. And that's going to be either green adventurine or purple adventurine or mafenite. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about mafenite because you all have probably the, the green adventurine uh, in your jewelry box. You may not have the purple. Purple's good for spiritual and manifesting. 
luck. It's green adventurine is good for specifically for gambling and games of chance. So the green adventurine, you wear on your left wrist if you're right-handed, the opposite if you're left-handed. And the reason you do that is the left hand is your receiving hand. You're going to pull the money in. You're going to pull the blessings in. Your right hand is your giving hand. So you always want to wear your green adventuring bracelet on the left if you're right-handed, going to casino, et cetera. But Mayfanite is a, is a new stone that I started carrying since I've been to the Tucson Gem Show. And Mayfanite is a stone that after your luck starts to wane a little bit, then you throw Mayfanite on. So let's say you're gambling at the casino and you're winning, winning, winning. Then all of a sudden that luck starts to slow down. Maybe you're not winning each pull. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the Mayfanite on the right hand. And Mayfanite will boost the luck. It acts as a booster. When your luck starts to run out, it'll bring that luck back. But Mayfanite is also very good for grounding and a bunch of other things. So make sure that you pull your Mayfanite out and wear it for all those new beginnings, December 21st through May um, 14th, no matter what sign you are. And we do have some very lucky days coming up for gambling. I just finished, um, actually, my um, my calendar, my 2023 calendar is already at the printers. The copies are being put together. We're going to be able to mail them out, depending on Debbie's schedule, Friday or Saturday. So we've taken some pre-orders the last couple of days. So the pre-orders will be going out first. The 2023 calendar has all the money days, all the Law of Abundance days, all the lucky days, the full moons, the new moons, the Mercury retrogrades. And we've added some little tips. And thanks to Stevie Peterson, I've also added an idea she had, like a little, where you can write out some of your manifesting wishes. And I'll even tell you, manifest today. So, but I was, the point of this is I was, when I was doing the calendar and researching all of the best astrological dates, there are so many like extra big money days. So you want to look at those money dates that are in the calendar and circle them in red. That's the day for you to be proactive. Start a garage sale, start a GoFundMe, go to the casino, put out a resume, open up a business because, because the money days attract wealth and money. Okay. The law of abundance days that are listed in the calendar are, are abundance and prosperity in all ways. So if you didn't already get your calendar, they usually sell out by the 1st of January. I never seem to print it enough, even though I bring more and more in. So if you want to get one, they're online now, and I would order it, and Debbie will send it out. That way you can plan your new year if you're going to Vegas or if you're going on a cruise or if you're opening up a business. But um, I would say that the luckiest signs from now through December 21st, because Jupiter is uh, in Pisces, until the 21st are going to be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So if you're one of those three signs, you've got extra luck between now and December 21st. From December 21st through May 16th, Aries, Leo, and Sag will be the luckiest. May 16th through the middle of 2024, Taurus are going to be lucky. Taurus will be lucky. Um, Virgo will be lucky. And Capricorn will be lucky. So those signs are going to be luckiest then. But all the signs are going to benefit in some way, shape, or form as we go through these. It depends on where it falls in your chart. The other thing I need to talk about are the eclipses this fall. Eclipses are like wild cards. They shake things up in our lives and they create needed change. Sometimes challenging things happen on eclipses, but you should never judge an eclipse until it's passed. Because what will happen is eclipses will push you off that fence. It'll create something in your life to put you on a different path. And then you want to judge what happened after the eclipse three months, six months, maybe even the year following. And you're going to look back and say, wow, look at all that crazy stuff that happened, but I'm okay. And look at all the wonderful blessings that came out of it. There was a reason. But we have two eclipses this fall and eclipses help us release things and draw new things to us. The biggest eclipse for manifesting, the biggest eclipse I believe for manifesting is the new moon eclipse we have this month, October 25th. It's in the sign of Scorpio, which is the master manifester. This specific eclipse can help people that have challenges financially Reverse their debt, 
get out of debt. It can create changes, life altering changes. If you're willing to take new beginnings, because new moons are about new beginnings, new starts. I'm encouraging everybody to set intentions, no matter what sign you are on this powerful new moon. Because it's an eclipse, it's like three, the energy of three new moons rolled into one. And what happens with this energy is it, um, it develops and unfolds for three weeks, three months, sometimes even into next year. You might see the result of your manifestations within two weeks. You might see the, the result of the manifestations if it's a really big wish and the, sometime in the middle of May next year. On the full moon in the, in the sister moon, the full moon in the same sign of Scorpio. But this one's going to be a powerful one um, to make positive changes. All right. The second one is on November 8th. And that one um, is going to help. Um, that's a full moon and full moon. You release things. That one's going to help you release trauma. It's going to help you release stuff that you've been hanging on to for a long time. And Uranus is also tied to it. So there could be something sudden and unexpected happening around that time, give or take a day or two on each side. Now, you should get a preview of what the eclipse wants to bring you a month and a day before. So, so circle October 7th in your calendar to see what that full moon eclipse in November wants to bring you. You may get a symbol or a telltale sign. So for those who struggle with past trauma uh, and want to release things, and they want to manifest and they want to have hope for the future. Ammonizite is the stone to pull out of your jewelry box. It brings healing energy to help you step forward, to give you the ability to manifest the hope. It is the stone of hope. Now, it's also a good stone for animal communication. Telepathically, if you wear it, it, it helps you communicate telepathically with your animals. But it's also called the stone of hope. And it helps you let go of whatever is not serving you correctly. It helps you to patch up old wounds and make things much more manageable by breaking down big problems into bite-sized digestible pieces, okay? So ammonizite, great stone for the wearing it during wearing during the eclipses. But you can wear it at any time of the year. Uh, so if you have it in your jewelry box, you're going to buy it from us. Um, doesn't matter what wrist you wear it on. Just wear it. But I would definitely wear it around these eclipses. Um, so those are the five big aspects that I've chosen. The Jupiter, the Saturn, the eclipses, the Saturn square. All of these, these energies are going to be very, very life-changing, I guess I would say, in, you know, in some, some big way. Um, <clears throat> and, oh, and by the way, I want to uh, mention that ammonizite is connected to the heart chakra. Um, the place that streams light and makes way for love to be given and received. So it's a beautiful, beautiful stone. Um, and Taurus is ruled by Venus and that eclipse on, on November 8th is good for, you know, sending love, receiving love, etc. cetera. Um, so what we've done is we've designed a Halloween tote bag. You're also going to get one of these Halloween hats. I have them in um, orange, gray, and I think there might be one or two in midnight, uh, midnight blue. Um, but we're going to give away, you can have your choice of one of the Halloween totes. There's um, about a hundred and I don't know, $140 worth of stuff for $89. And you're going to get the tote of your choice. You're going to get one of the hats, the Halloween hats. You're going to get all five bracelets. All five. And these bracelets alone, if you were to buy them individually, would total over a hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, Marie, I have it labeled as 99 on the website. Give me a second before anybody purchases. Just so okay. Clear. Also, we're gonna knock ten dollars off tonight. That was my mistake. That's my Freudian slip. So if you want one, because we're gonna change the price after this website, after everybody listens to this webinar. You want to get it right now because it's going to go up ten dollars. I I said eighty nine. He's changing it, okay? Uh, but it's going to go up. So if you want it for that price, you need to get it now. And we only have like forty some total. Uh, and we have a lot of people that have signed up for this webinar, whether they're watching in the replay or they're watching live. There's probably going to be at least five hundred or more watching this. So if you want to get one of these, you're going to get one of the totes of your choice. You're going to get one of the hats. I just love these hats. Joe wants mine. 
This is the only one I kept for myself. Um, so you're All right, gonna if you refresh your page, it's going to be the eighty nine dollars. Refresh right. your page before you buy it. You're going to get ten dollars off. Um, you're going to get um, you can get the white tote with the mystic purple crystal ball or the black psychic bag. Um, you're going to get a metaphysical book. We're going to send you either a tarot book, a gem book. That's going to be our choice. But the books are usually about fifteen to twenty some dollars each. Kind of like a nice little Halloween gift. Um, you're going to get uh, aromatherapy oil. You're going to get spiritual healing incense. You're going to get the red string bracelets, which are good for relationships and love and healing. You're going to get a, either a black tourmaline or a pyrite pendulum. Well, those pendulums are anywhere from $15 to $20 each. Um, and um, you're going to get all of those bracelets I mentioned, the black labradorite, the lapis, the ammonite, the mafenite, and the bronzite in all of that kit. Maria, and if you give me a second... I uh, if you want to purchase the item while Maria is speaking, if you're on a computer, you can just open another tab. You'll still be able to hear Maria coming through your speakers, just not see us at that time. And if you're on a phone, uh, whether it be an Android or a uh, or a uh, Apple device, when you close it, it should also keep that as an overlay on top of the video to access. But remember, there's always a replay that you can access if that doesn't work for you get the uh, order that you would like, um, but you would just create a new tab and go to Maria Shaw's store while she's talking. Okay. Thank you, Greg. And yeah. And, and if you, but remember, we only have like 40 of these and we probably have 500 people going to be watching. So if you think one of those bags are cute, I absolutely love these bags. They're great for Halloween. Uh, you can run around town with them. If you're a tarot reader, if you're a healer, if you're into psychic work, you have to get one of these bags. The Halloween hats are unisex. And like I said, Joe wants Joe wants this one. Um, but you're going to get all of this uh, in one big. And so I, I want to say there's $130 to $160 worth of stuff. So it's about it's almost half off. Um, but I, I, I really would suggest wearing these bracelets during this time. Okay. And you'll get the aromatherapy oil, which is going to be good for um, lifting your vibration. And you're going to also get um, the um, the spiritual healing incense that you can you, you can use those when you're going through tenseness to uplift the vibration in your home. Or maybe you want it when you're manifesting, you know, burn that incense on the new moon and the full moon. The eclipse is coming up. But there's a lot of goodies in that. But um, and also if you order. Uh, the 80, I almost said 99. If you order the one we just knocked $10 off, you're going to get a free pass to um, the Minnesota event that's either coming up the 15th and the 16th. It doesn't cover Thomas, John, or Joe, but it covers the rest, all the stuff for the weekend. Or you can get a free pass for the December event in Minnesota, which is I think is the Saturday and Sunday. Um, same thing, uh, second Saturday and Sunday in December. If you're from Michigan, you'll get a free pass for the convention coming up in uh, the 20th through the 23rd. Um, if you buy this pass tonight, you have to, you have to ask for it. Okay. That'll be your, that'll be your gift. I don't know, Greg, if you have the premier passes out yet, do you have a 199 option or no? Yeah, I actually added that last minute because I saw a text message from you. So on this option, they can add on a 2023 premier pass for 199. Uh, this is the only place in the store currently that you can get the Premier Pass for one ninety nine. So okay, so if you want, yeah, if you want to come to all of my webinars next year, which normally run forty nine dollars each, and I think so far we've had four, we've had twelve webinars, maybe more. No, we had them in January, April, June. Now we've had sixteen webinars. They're forty nine dollars each. You'll get all the webinars in two thousand twenty three. You'll get a pass to any of the events that we have anywhere in the country, the conventions, et cetera. They don't include the meals uh, and certain exclusions, like if it's somebody else's event that's within mine. Uh, but it's a, the premier passes are normally $199. That'll come free if you, if you order the $199, um, the bundle package. So basically, you're paying for the premier pass for 2023, um, and then um, you will have um, you'll have all the other the other free stuff, I guess I say. Sharon wants to know how many bracelets can you wear at one time? Three. I mean, you can wear as many as you want, but the energy may get canceled out. So you want to wear 
three at one time to, for the most potent energy. And you can mix and match throughout the day. But I definitely would say during these times that I just gave you to wear the bracelets that I just, because they're going to coordinate with what's going on astrologically. All right. I want to talk about tired people, people that are drained and exhausted. The Leos, the Aquarians, the Scorpios, the Tauruses, you guys have been really tired this year. Um, and other signs too, if you've had your rising sign, one of those signs. So the best stones to wear when you want to boost your energy quickly is going to be red agate or carnelian. Okay. Carnelian is also a good stone for sexual energy. It's a good stone for masculine, female energy, for balance, for creativity. Um, it rules the sacral chakra. And then red agate is just good for just all over energy. So you throw on one of those stones if you're tired. And I think we have those in the store too. Weight loss. Everybody asks me about weight loss every year. When am I going to lose weight? Am I gaining? How come I'm gaining? Well, certain signs are putting weight on this year and certain signs are taking weight off this year and next year. So I want to give you those. Oh, and Greg's going to put the, put the uh, pictures up of the, the bundle there. So the weight loss, you need to be wearing sodalite. Sodalite is good for thyroid metabolism, strength, and endurance. So if you're working out, it's a good stone to wear. And also it's good for writers. If you have writer's block, it's a good stone to throw on. But it's very good for metabolism and weight loss. And the signs that are putting weight on later this year and next year are Aries. The signs that are putting weight on this fall that probably already have put up weight on this year are Pisces, Virgo, and, Le and Leo. Okay. Now that's your lapis. That's good for, um, that's a really good stone for your Saturn transits. It kind of looks a little bit like sodalite, but sodalite has got more blue and white in it. Okay. So if you have that in your jewelry box and you're one of these signs, there you go. That's sodalite. Isn't that pretty? All right. So those are the signs that are putting weight on. You want to wear sodalite if you prone to weight gain, Aries, Pisces, Virgo, and Leo. Now starting in May of next year, Taurus and Libra, We'll be putting weight on. So those are the two signs that need to be wearing sodalite. But if you're just trying to reduce or release, it's a better way to put it than lose. Because when you say lose, you're going to find it. But if you say reduce or release, you're more apt to not find that weight. So the signs losing weight right now are Aquarians and Cancers. And next March and for three years, it's going to be Pisces and Leo will lose weight. But if you want to lose quicker, put the sodalite on. Okay. Spiritual growth can happen a lot during the eclipses, like I was telling you. So anytime we have an eclipse, there's usually some a spiritual lesson or spiritual growth or an aha moment or something. So amethyst is going to be a good stone to wear for spiritual growth, in addition to the other ones that I told you about. Now, in addition to, and that's a beautiful amethyst, we actually have several different types of amethysts online. Um, also Saturn square Uranus, we talked about that as the first aspect that's happening pretty much all month. And then it peaks again, January 23rd. That's the one where you're, there's a lot of tension. Um, besides the stone that I told you to wear for that one, you're going to run into a lot of angry people and you should be wearing white howlite. It's good for toxic environments all of October. And again, on January 23rd. But white howlite deflects anger that you're carrying and it deflects anger directed at you. So it should be, it should be somewhere in there. If it's white howlite bracelets, we should have some. If we haven't updated the website, we'll get it updated. But you can see what it looks like there. We have a, um, that's a It doesn't look like we have it individually, Maria, but uh, for the bracelet sale where they can get five for 99 and then if they want to go and get another five and get the 10% off. Um, they can just type in white highlight if we have it in stock. Otherwise, uh, you or Debbie can send me the detail and I can add it back. But all I've seen is pieces. Yeah, I just got in about 20 or 25 um, new white um, highlight. I probably haven't added it yet because it's on its way. But um, there is a bracelet sale. So if you guys go through your gemstone bracelet, the little link, and I hand... I, I typed all this out, so it's going to be in, like Greg was saying, in the link here, um, there's Debbie's hand. She was taking a picture of some of her bracelets. Um, you'll see th there's two pages full 
of dozens of bracelets in here and what they're good for. As you go through that list, you might find a bracelet that resonates with you. And if you don't have it, you can purchase it. But some of these bracelets are $35, $40. What we're doing tonight is you can buy five bracelets for $99 and you just have to type in which five that you want. So as you're looking at your list, you type in which ones you want. Now, some of them are very limited, like the African turquoise. I don't think we have a lot left, um, like the black tourmaline. Those really go quick because the black tourmaline is good to keep negativity away gossipy people, negative people. Um, those are $30. But if you buy five and you can mix and match or you can buy five of one, but you need to write down which ones you want because it's very likely some of them will be sold out. So we may contact you for second choices. But this is a great idea for Christmas too. If you want to give Christmas gifts or birthday gifts and you know what the meaning of the stones is. So we're going to do that. And then Greg, there's another offer. If they buy the five for 99, what was the other offer that we're doing? Oh, we're doing, they can add another five on top of the already five that they have and get 10% off the total price of that. So they'll save $20. Wow. Okay. So that's like, that's like, wow, that's really good. Okay. I think Mercury retrograde has kicked in and thank God it's over. It just lifted on the, on um, the second, but I think I might've made a couple um, errors. So it's more it's for, for our clients to gain. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I want to mention this today is the luckiest day of the year in my book. October 4th is extremely lucky day and it can be lucky in any ways. So I want you to do something proactive tonight, today, manifest, put out for something, et cetera. It is such a lucky day astrologically that we, there's no other day that, that, that um, matches this one as far as the energy. So we went ahead and we made some more pay me oil for um, today. We, we, so we could bottle that energy. The reason this is so lucky is because Jupiter, the planet of good luck and blessings started to come really close to the planet earth last week and it just build and build and now it's going to start to it's going to be around most most of october but it, it really kind of peaks with some other alignments uh today and so we bottled the energy of jupiter and jupiter is the blessings the good luck etc cetera, etc cetera. so we we have the oil the pay me oil but it's called the jupiter pay me oil and you just rub it on your pulse points just like you would the regular pay me oil and this is one that i would suggest you wear with your adventurine and your mafenite Okay, so we have that out there that's new. Um, we have the tote bags. We have the, the five bracelets. And then if you order another five, you get even better deal. And then don't forget next weekend or the, what is it, the 11th? I'm doing my numerology webinar. Most of you have signed up for that. Um, that is a paid webinar, but it's also included in your bundle. Uh, if you've purchased the bundle and I want you to bring um, your significant others, your kids, whatever their birthday to the class, to the webinar. We're going to we're going to look at compatibility between the numbers. We're also going to take your home address and we're going to see what your house represents. Does it heal you? Does it hinder you? Does it support you? Does it help you? We we'll talk about your address and why it's so important in your life. Then we're going to take a look at your personal numerology year and, and tell you about the theme of your life. Every year on your birthday, you start a new numerology cycle, a new theme. And we're going to teach you how to do that formula so you can do it for all your friends and family. And you're going to find out how to predict the next year and maybe even the next nine years of your life if you take good notes. If you do not have uh, that on your webinar list, you can purchase that webinar tonight. Uh, the link is in the um, is at mariashaw.com. And it's, it, Greg can show you where it's on the website, but I would highly recommend that you sign up for it. It's a fun class, but it's very informative. It'll give you a lot of insight for many years. You'll have that information. You'll always have that information with you. Um, and that class will also be recorded. Now, if you buy the bundle for the fall, you'll be able to get all of my, my other work, uh, other webinars, the one that we talked about, Destiny and Fate. And what a soul does the first 40 days after it leaves the body. I had some people come up to me and say, you know, I wasn't, that wasn't my favorite one on the list, but it ended up being my favorite one on the list. I was even crying during the webinar. I'll tell you what, it was just, 
it's, it's a great class. I'm going to be teaching it in Minnesota on the 15th of October. Um, if you need tickets for that, please come. And I'm going to be teaching it in Saginaw on the 21st. Uh, but if you if you can't make it to one of those places and you want to get a copy of those webinars, you can buy the, the bundle for the whole fall. You'll get a free ticket for one of the events. But if you're going to spend forty nine dollars for the numerology, why not spend another fifty dollars and get all of the webinars and then a free ticket to the event? So that's what I have to say. Um, we can look at a couple of these if you want to. I can I can choose some other ones and then we'll open it up to questions before we close for the night. Um, the black jet is one of the most powerful stones for manifesting. And remember, black jet is going to be a stone that will really help you uh, raise your vibration and attract what you want out of life. In, in um, gosh, thousands of years ago, in ancient times, black jet was really kind of feared because the magicians, the, the voodoo priestesses, the witches used this stone to cast spells. If used in modern day, it's wonderful for manifesting if used for the highest good. It's a very protective stone too. Um, green phantom quartz. This is kind of cool because it's Halloween season, right? Green phantom quartz. It dispels negative energies that linger in your auric field. So if you have, you know, a weak auric field, weak energy field, you wear this stone, it'll dispel the negative energies. It helps you to get rid of negative thoughts or emotions, which stop the positive flow of energy. A lot of people say, well, I'm not able to manifest. You know, well, you may be blocked because of negative thoughts or emotions, and it will help dispel that too. So you can continue the flow of positive energy. Um, astrophylite is the strongest stone to develop spiritual strength. It enhances your psychic abilities so that you're going to feel more connected to the higher realm. I had a gal email me today, a one question reading, and she said, how am I able, how can you tell me how I can connect to a higher realm and trust the information? And I forgot to tell her she might want to try that astrophilite. Lovely stone for them. Um, opalite, it's good for meditation, peace, harmony, and getting along with negative people. It's also very good if you're buying real estate or if you're traveling. Now, on the 7th, we have a wonderful day to travel. If you're traveling anywhere on the 7th, you'll have safe traveling mercies, okay? Um, rhodonite helps one remove blockages from past relationships so they can move forward. A lot of people like that stone as well. Um, oh, my goodness, I completely forgot about this one. I want to talk about... Um, Septonite. I just got this in. You have not probably seen this before on my website in any of the 30 years that I've been doing this. Septonite. This is a stone that is helpful for a confused mind and it brings calm and clarity. It can be used to heighten intuition and increases creativity. It's also said to stimulate dreaming and the recollection of dreams. And it's used to revitalize a tired mind. And Greg, I sent this to you, gosh, I want to say probably about a week or so ago. It's F-E-T-O-N-I-T-E. -E. And it's used to rejuvenate um, your body if you've been working too hard too, besides your mind. And then the strawberry quartz, it draws soulmates and twin flame type of relationships to you. So these are all... These are all stones that are in, there's so many of them in the list that you've been given. Let's go ahead and open this up to questions now. Does anybody have any questions? Because we still have a couple minutes. And if you, yes, everybody likes my hat. The document where the gem meanings are, are on the actual website. And Greg, do you just want to explain that again? She's having trouble finding the document. Yeah, absolutely. It is inside of the store. If you go to the gemstone bracelet cell, you'll see where you can choose like the five bracelets. And if you want to do the addition of five, you can do it there. But inside of that item and the detail of it, it includes all the different stones and their meanings to help you choose the five that you would like. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, Robin, for that question. Anybody else? You can see Jackson over here. He's getting ready to go to sleep. He's thinking, you're up too late. Hi, Jackson. Anybody else have any questions about any stones, how to wear them? What is the best gems for healing? Uh, it depends on what area of the body that you want to heal. 
Uh, hematite is good for stress. Uh, it's good for arthritis. Um, it's good for bones. Howlite is good for breathing and chest issues. Um, black onyx is a good stone also. Um, quartz crystal is good for lifting your energy. If you're tired, your energy is low, as is red agate. Um, the uh, Miriam Jasper helps you keep calm under severe pressure. So there's the stones, if you look online, you'll see for emotional, physical, mental, um, spiritual healing. So there, that's, it depends on what area of the body that you want. The thyroid would be the, um, would be the sodalite. Okay. So you want to look at what area of the body and read through the stones. Another, how do you know which bracelets to wear if you can only wear three at a time? Jermaine, I think a lot of times it depends on what you're going through, but you know, what you're, what you're intuitively feeling you need for that day, just as you pick some clothes out of your closet and say, oh, I think I want to wear this today. I feel I'm going to, I feel I need this outfit. Same thing with your bracelets. But if you look at the list that I made for you and you say, oh, today I'm under a lot of pressure or today I'm feeling real tired. I better put some red agate on. Or today I'm going on a hot date. I'm going to wear a carnelian or rose quartz. So you follow the guide and then you wear the bracelet based on your activities for that day. If you're, if you're going to the casino, you're going to want to wear adventurine. You know, so you look at the guy, keep it handy, print it off, keep it handy um, and then go from there. But the five stones that are in the bundle, you're going to use them more than just the next six months because they're good for so many different things. And you'll see that in the sheet. So your best bet, if you're going to order five and the five that I talked about will come with the tote, um, you're going to get, like I said, probably about one hundred and sixty dollars worth of stuff for the eighty nine. And you'll get all those five bracelets plus the other stuff, plus these cute hats and the Halloween tote. But that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. What's good for attracting true love? Strawberry quartz and rose quartz. Strawberry quartz is for soulmate, twin flame type of energy. Rose quartz is, is for, for love of all kinds and happiness and joy. Is there a good all-encompassing healing stone? Uh, you know, I think that lapis is good. And I also think fluorite is good. Um, angel light is good because, you know, the angels connect with us and you can ask them for healing on all levels. So angel light, it's a beautiful light blue stone. We, that may be one that you may want to choose. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what else we have here. Um, yeah, I, in rainbow hematite is good too, but I would, I would probably say the lapis and the fluorite and I don't, I don't think we have any more fluorite left. Oh, have you guys heard about the Kesara stone? Kesara, Sara. This is a stone that helps you roll with the flow and uh, divine wisdom and insight. We did get some more of those back in. Those are $30. Why not get them in your five bundle or your tote bag? It's if you're going to buy five bracelets and you like the ones that I mentioned, it may be in your best interest to buy the, the whole tote bag. But the case of raw stone is a good one, too. Are there other gems? Are there gemstones that don't get along? Yes. You shouldn't wear a calming stone like aquamarine with, um, let's say, a red stone that's going to that's going to boost your energy. Um, so red coral and like a soft, soft blue stone probably not together because you're trying, it's, it's going to defeat the purpose. You're trying to calm and then the red coral is going to give you energy. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kim. She said, I'm incredibly awesome. I'll tell Joel you said that. <laughs> thank you. What are the stones again in the special? The stones again in the special um, are going to be the um, bronzite, the lapis, which everybody's going to need at some point, but it's also good for healing on all levels, right? The black labradorite, it prevents you from being influenced by negative energy. It eases anxiety and worries. It's good to recover confidence. Bronzite, accept the truth and changes. It helps with past life recall. Saturn would be the lapis. Um, and then you're also going to get the Jupiter, the Jupiter one, which is the Maphonite, which boosts your luck. And then you're going to get the Ammonazite, the Stone of Hope and Manifesting. And remember, that one also has a side uh, note of being good for um, uh, animal communication. And then Jennifer says, I work with horrible, negative, mean people. What would be the best stone for that? 
hands down black tourmaline. And you've heard me probably say that before. Black tourmaline keeps negative people, negative situations away. People will tell you, I won't even need to testify on black tourmaline. People will tell you. Uh, and then Gina from Chicago wants to know the best way to clean bracelets. Um, you don't want to put them in water because they have a string on them, you know, a stretchy string, ours do. So what you want to do is you want to run Palo Santo or sage them, or you want to put them out in the full moon. So you're going to want to put your bracelets out on um, uh, this month, this, this next week on the 8th and the 9th, or is that this weekend? 8th and 9th, you want to put, as soon as you see that full moon at the end of this week, you want to put your bracelets out in the full moon, leave them out overnight. Um, and if, if it's raining or if it's cold or you don't want animals to get them, depending on where you live, you can put them on a cookie sheet and park your car where the moonlight's coming down and just leave them in there overnight. It'll recharge and cleanse the stones. You can also put them in a bowl with, um, with kyanite or citrine because those are two stones that don't retain negative energy. Donna, I have a hard time wearing bracelets. Can you put them in your bra? You sure can. Just make sure that you remember that they're in there. You can also hang them in your car. Um, if you're traveling, um, you can put them um, in a little dish. So that way you can, and if a bracelet breaks, it doesn't mean that it won't work. If the, if the band breaks on it, sometimes when people wear them in the shower or they wear them for years and years, that stretchy string, you can always get them restrung or you can still continue to use the stones. Just put them in a little pouch and carry them with you. I'm getting a headache. I can't find the package hat bag missing a whole show because I can't keep looking. I can't find nothing. Um, okay. So Greg's going to explain to you, Lori. So Greg, go ahead. Lori, follow, follow with Greg. Yeah. So I'm in the online store. I go to the main page of the online store, right? It's going to bring me here. I'm going to click fall webinar series. It's going to be the easiest way to get it. And if you're looking for the Halloween tote, if you scroll down, you see this number two is the next page. You can see that the Halloween totes are right here, as well as the gemstone and everything else that we've talked about in the past. So you just click that and fill in the options. You'll be good to go. And Lori, if you're still having some challenges, contact Debbie Harden after. She'll be glad to take the order over the phone and get all the five bracelets that you want and get your address. She'll be glad to do that. And I think you know how to get a hold of Debbie. You can private message her on Facebook or email her. And if you have a problem with finding that, just contact me. Buy a, a selenite rod and hang your bracelets on a selenite rod to cleanse them. That's a good That's a good one too, Sally. We're going to be bringing a bunch of selenite to Minneapolis. We have some selenite online. It's in a different store. It's in a different part of the store. And then we're going to be bringing some to Saginaw. We have selenite wands. We also have some stuff that are not on the website that we're going to bring to Saginaw, Minnesota this month. But that's that's a good point, Sally. Thank you. Best bracelets for abundance and luck, Eva, is going to be your adventurine. And then remember, if your luck starts to fade, throw that mafenite on. Kambaba Jasper is excellent also. It just depends on what, and then manifesting is blackjack. It, you know, but I would probably say green adventurine. Oh, there's Debbie. Debbie just put her email up there. If you guys are having trouble finding it or trouble ordering, there's Debbie's email on there. Debbie Harden 2 at gmail.com. But you really shouldn't have any troubles. Right. And just remember, if you're on the store, just go ahead. And if you scroll down in the store or any item you're looking at, you can hit search products right here. Let me go ahead and share my screen again. Yeah, that's a, that's a good option too. Hit search products here. And then if you type Halloween... It's going to come up, right? It's the first item that you have. Click that and you'll be good to go. So and the universe just, isn't telling yeah. you not to order something. <laughs> We're just telling you how you can. And, and Mercury's still in the shadow. So even though Mercury's went forward, we still have a little bit of te technical stuff. But um, that's why I delayed this webinar until after Mercury went forward. Thank you, Krista. Did you get married? How come you got a different last name? Um, and I, you guys may have seen that when it popped up, Thomas, John, and I, we are hosting two events in October, one in Saginaw, October 20, 23rd, 
Sunday morning with Spirit with Maria and Thomas. And that's going to be at the Saginaw Sheridan. We have tickets for that. It's a three-hour event, crossing over event where we connect with loved ones. If you don't know who Thomas John is, he's kind of like on the same realm as Sylvia Brown and John Edward. He had his own TV show on Lifetime called Seatbelt Psychic. He had a residency. He had a CBS do a docu documentary on him. Uh, he had a residency in Las Vegas. He's got a book out. So you probably have heard or seen him. Uh, but hey, I'm going to be bringing him into Saginaw, and he's also coming into Minneapolis on the 16th of October. And Debbie just put the link up if you want to get tickets for that. That'll make it easy there. Yeah, we still have some tickets left for that. If you're coming to the Michigan show, we have meal tickets still left. So we'll have lectures and we also have the Thomas John tickets as well for Michigan. But remember, if you order the bundle, all four of the, um, the webinars, you're going to get a free pass for one of those events anyhow. So if you like this and you want to, you want to, you look at the ones that have already passed, even though this was a free one, the other ones we charged for, you can get that extra little bonus. But I'm hoping you guys all take advantage of our Halloween stuff. It's so much fun. And you get the cute tote and you get all the bracelets. So it's like a lot of extra stuff. And Kareen says, I love you and Thomas together. Great energy and vibes. Thank you. And we're going to be doing a live here at 10 p.m. Eastern on Thomas's channel. That's my full name. Wasn't really able to recover my old account. All right, Krista. Good. Anybody else before we close? Okay. Anybody else? No other else? questions. All right, everybody. Remember to sign up for my newsletter, mariashaw.com. Thank you, Greg. We're so happy that you're with us. And thank you, Debbie Harden, and everybody for signing in and tuning in. And if you're watching in the replay, we hope to see you on our travels too. Thank you, guys. <laughs>